Under Model Rule of Professional Conduct 1.2c and state law equivalents, an attorney may limit the scope of client representation if the limitation is reasonable under the circumstances and the client gives informed consent. In Lerner v. Lawfer, a New Jersey appeals court considered whether an attorney could reasonably limit his scope of representation in a divorce case to review of a proposed property settlement agreement, or PSA. Michael Lerner and Lynn Lerner were a married couple with a large fortune. However, in 1994, Michael filed for divorce. After filing for divorce, Michael contacted his business lawyer and family friend, Brett Meyer, to mediate a PSA. Following several sessions, Meyer drafted a proposed agreement under which Lynn was to receive money and stock acquired during the marriage. In addition, Lynn was to receive alimony and child support in exchange for waiving her rights to the remaining stock. Meyer gave Lynn a list of attorneys to consult with before signing the proposed agreement. Lynn then contacted attorney William Lawfer, an experienced divorce attorney. Lawfer provided Lynn with a two-page letter detailing that Lawfer didn't perform any financial review and couldn't advise whether the terms were fair or comparable to a potential trial recovery. Instead, the letter stated that his representation was limited solely to reviewing the agreement itself and stated that Lynn accepted those limits and agreed not to sue Lawfer. Lynn then read and signed the letter and, after meeting with Lawfer, executed the agreement. Five days later, Lawfer gave Lynn a standard retainer agreement, which she signed, stating that services provided would include financial due diligence and advice as to potential trial recovery. A few months later, Lawfer represented Lynn in the uncontested divorce proceeding. Prior to the hearing, Lawfer suggested some amendments to the agreement that were adopted. Following the hearing, the divorce was granted, and the agreement was incorporated into the final judgment. Subsequently, Lynn sued Lawfer in state superior court for malpractice, arguing that he failed to perform duties typically expected of a divorce attorney and that the letter neither limited nor waived her rights to full representation. She also argued that, by suggesting amendments to the agreement, Lawfer exceeded the limitation. In response, Lawfer moved for summary judgment, which the court granted. Lynn appealed to the New Jersey Superior Court Appellate Division.